Hey everybody, I am going to do a super, super, super quick um, video on how to do these little bunnies. Um, they're about, I don't know, five or six inches. Um, obviously they look like a little peep. I ordered a whole bunch of them um, and I have some orders going for them. So these um, I'm sublimating on. I am not um, going to do vinyl. So at least that way they're nice and soft and cushy. So if um, somebody's kid wants to cuddle with them, they can. So I am going to do, um, I printed out the names already on my 2800. I am going to take, my blowout sheet is just plain copy paper. Since these are itty bitty, I am just going to tear the copy paper. So I folded it in half. I'm going to fold it in half again. And I'm going to tear it. So that's what I'm going to use. So what, instead of setting up one of my presses, because I have a couple, I am actually going to use this itty bitty press um, that I got on Amazon. This is, I don't know, similar to the little Cricut handheld one. So I'm going to do a quick um, pre-press on these. And I have already heated this up. I heated it up to 385, which is as high as this goes. Um, and I will set my timer for 60 seconds. Um, that's what I'm going to um, press these at. So it'll be 60 seconds. I have been taping these down. I don't have any adhesive spray here. So I'm just going to grab a couple pieces of tape and tape them down so they don't move. So I don't have to worry about any ghosting. And I'm going to go ahead and place it where I want it. Put my blowout sheet and we are going to press it. All right, so I set Alexa for my timer since I'm obviously recording on my phone. You can see that Camden's name went on there and then I'm just going to go ahead and give it a little brush while it's still hot to get rid of any tape lines. So that is that one. Obviously when you use sublimation, you don't have any feel onto it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do all of the rest of them. But like I said, um, this press only goes up to 385. It was uh, 385 for 60 seconds. And I did tape it so I don't have any ghosting or anything. Um, this font is, I think Bernard Condensed and I don't know what this one is. Um, but that's what I used. Hope it helps guys. Thanks, bye.